Hi people, today we are reading more of Magma Man's comic, The Expansion of Emily. Indeed if you want are. to see the latest pages for all the comics he's currently <clears throat> doing, you can check him out on Patreon, which will be linked in the description. Heck yeah. So yeah, um, Expansion of Emily, um, This is she's doing a university project, Science of Fat, Investigating Fat, with help from her friend. And I th- and her boyfriend Travis has just got back, and this is the first time Travis is witnessing the new Emily. So we will see how this goes. I'm pretty sure Emily was pretty confident that he was going to be all cool with it. So we'll see. About 25 minutes later, Travis arrived. To say he was surprised was an understatement as he embraced his undeniably squishier girlfriend. Well, Em, you certainly look <laughs> voluptuous. What is this hat? Can someone explain to me what this is supposed to be? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I've g- gained a little weight. But hey, nothing wrong with a little more of me to love, right? More than a little, babe. You've gotten fat. Emily could tell he wasn't happy. Her heart started racing. Wait, what? I legitimately thought he was going to be cool about it. I guess not. I mean, are we really going to have? Oh, well, she quickly attempted to change the subject. Travis, can we not do this right now? Let's go grab dinner and catch up. Em, dinner is the last thing you need right now. What the hell happened? This is completely unacceptable. Jeez, man, what the heck? Your hat is unacceptable. I don't know. School was kind of getting me down, and I started comfort eating a little bit, and before I knew it, the fat fairy had paid a visit. No kidding. Emily, this is too much. I can't have a girlfriend this big. I'm sorry. (laughs) Travis, I thought you were a real one. He couldn't help but squeeze her newly fattened tummy in disgust. Oh, is that something normal people do? Maybe. Okay. Attempting to get his point across. By now, Emily was starting to get mad. She didn't expect him to react so crazy nigga. I mean, even outside of the context, like, like, seriously, dude? <laughs> seriously? Is this really how normal people act? Like, you know, normies, normies behave around fat people? <laughs> Well, what if I told you I actually like having curves, huh? What would you say to that, you idiot? I'd say we were probably through as a couple. We're done. Done? Are you kidding me? You jerk! Yeah, sorry. You just let yourself go too much. I got other girls I can date with a way better handle on their appetites. Frick you, Travis! They've carried on arguing and throwing insults at each other before finally breaking up for good. Emily was left in the airport sobbing, thinking about how he said he would love her no matter what, while lying through his teeth. Apparently he just meant only loving a super skinny version of her. Jeez, man. <laughs> no! Dude, men in this universe are almost as bad as in the Kipverse. No, not quite. <laughs> we knew that was coming. The question is, did Allison know? The next morning, Emily got out for a nice jog around the area. Trying to avoid the populated areas and the glances she would get, she looked every bit the determined, overweight girl ready to kick bottom and shed the pounds. Damn, this is rough! The first bit of exercise she had done in months, and after idiotically sitting on her bottom eating to her heart's desire, her body was quick to protest. The extra pounds of lard on her frame jiggled ponderously, hindering her attempts to run, and tired her out of the process. I mean, I'd, I'd go running if I had a place like this to friggin' jog in. This is nice. Everything bounced, each footfall triggering a seismic reaction up her thighs into the rest of her fat encased body. Her bottom, her fat freaking bottom, was rippling and undulating beneath her shorts like there was no tomorrow. The sheer weight of it now generated quite the sachet in her hips when she walked. It's time to sachet away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yo, okay, maybe I'll just walk quickly for a bit. She could only imagine how it must look while she ran. She could also feel her belly sloshing around, pressing against her top. She could even detect a bounce in her fleshy upper arms. Not the arm fat. That's when you know you're truly lost. What is this shirt though? Is that like a meshy type thing? That's gotta... I guess that, I guess that would... Is that... Is that like good for like staying Maybe. cool while exercising? I don't know, I'm not into freaking workout gear. Now that she had a pair of heavy thunder thighs, the movement itself required much more effort to generate. So this was how fat people felt when they tried to lose weight? Considering her weight, Emily was surprised at just how grotesquely out of shape she was. <laughs> Is it also, it lo- the camo pants make it looks like she's freaking on an undercover mission. Like, okay, dress kind of stylishly, but you know, going on a spy mission regardless. 
Hmm, Piggy Stop? A burrito sounds so good right now. As soon as Emily reached the nearby shopping center, the tantalizing thought of food and rest sent her on a beel beeline piggy stop. She deserved it for how much work she put into ten minutes of jogging. She strode toward the place, feeling fat and disgusted. <laughs> no! <laughs> love you, love you, love yourself, Emily. Not wanting to lock eyes with anyone she might know. Emily walked up to the counter. Unaware and too focused on food to know she was being watched by her old friends, Lisa and Beth. OMG, Beth, is that Emily at the counter? Yeah, I recognize that fat bottom anywhere. Girl is really packing it on these days. Yeah, those pants aren't hiding anything. Every time I see her, she looks fatter. Pregnant, maybe? Nah, I think school and stress are just hitting her hard. But yeah, she is starting to get big. I'm worried about her. Travis broke up with her, you know. Wow, really? Yeah. He came back from his trip and found his girlfriend fatter than when he left her. How else would you react? Ah, oh, yeah, that is so freaking disgusting. I miss her, honestly. Haven't seen her much lately. But as Jillian Michaels once said, at the end of the day, your health is your responsibility. Speaking of, you're eating only half of that and I get the other. Yeah, we don't want to end up like Emilard over there. Self-love? Wait, why has she got to share with self-love? Is that supposed to be, like, ironic yeah, or something? Showing their hypocrisy. <gasps> Damn! <laughs> no! Em You're just jealous you don't look as cool as Emily. <laughs> why is Emily's life so sad right now? I love the self-love t-shirt. That's pretty great. But yeah, well, although, to be fair, even though they're being, like, so judgy, they're also eating at the bad food place. <laughs> <laughs> they should be eating only, like, salads and stuff. Go to Subway! <laughs> but yeah, that's all we have for today. Definitely check out Magma Man's comics over on his Patreon. And you can also see the public pages on DeviantArt. But yeah, if you want to get all the new stuff as well as a consistent schedule, check out his Patreon. Link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.